It's got some stank on it. Yeah. Please, the ticks. They love the grass, and we don't. All right, hi baby. Hello. What you got? Jingo Brewer's Malt. Made Crack in, it. Made in Ghana. Crack it. Crack pour it. it. Love it. We're Super not gonna pour. pour it except for down our throats. It smells malty. It doesn't smell like a Malta. Guinness Malta. It smells different. Oh, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna try it. It tastes more like a malt that you get in Portland. Oh, Portland malt. You know, kind of craft mm. brewy. Try it again. It's got some stank on it. Yeah. You guys ready for a bath? You know, I don't actually want to bathe them. I've been arguing with Cecile a little bit because they smell like good puppies. They don't smell dirty. Okay, baby, you're up first. Come, baby. Come on, baby. Baby, stop it. It's okay. Ready? Baby, it's okay. It's okay, baby. Really good as butt. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's your turn next, buddy. Good boy. Good baby. The angle? Because look at his little face. Well, first I'm getting this angle. Is <laughs> huh. it a good angle? Yeah. Just... Oh. Baby. Mommy, I don't yank it very yeah, much. Yeah, but you're doing so good. Give me that little rinse cut here. It looks like I'm going to work out for it, so. be. <laughs> Bowser, it's okay, baby. Talk to him. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Settle yourself. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good boy. I need some soap. Thank you, buddy. Okay. I'm gonna get all those little freezers screeching on you. We need to teach your brother how to act right. Because you like it. He yikes it so much. How's little baby? You're a wet little dog. Yeah, you look like Chewbacca. I thought you were chilling. <laughs> Look at this dog. Oh my god. <laughs> He's trying to push through your armpit and his eyes all s smeared back. He's so stupid. So, this is the soap we use. We just got it at Fur and Feathers in Cape Coast. It's behind Malcolm. So, this is Hearts Ultra Guard. Uh, flea and tick shampoo. There's both fleas and ticks out here. We've pulled ticks off of the dogs Had gotten the heads caught had to come back with hot tweezers the whole thing. It's happened. So we are you know God bless this is going to work. I was seeing uh, Fleas dead on their body. So that's really good 
it's oatmeal so hopefully it irritates their little baby skin less so yeah 80 cds and i'll let you know in a later video how long it works it's supposed to last i think for a month so yeah we'll keep you posted Ooh, that wind will help dry you guys off guys look at huh? baby's already hair blowing in the breeze you guys look great. Yeah. You fight the great. Who's <laughs> that? Because it's so cold. Yeah. At least during rainy season. This yeah. summer they'll be happy to be splashed around. I uh, reluctantly took a shower this morning because <laughs> we don't have a hot water heater and it was just like a little chilly. And when that water hit me, I was like, <laughs> got a little, little extra fresh water here from the. Uh, dog washing project a little extra rinse water it's actually captured rainwater so it's pretty pure and i was going to add it to the um gosh i guess we've told you about it before but in case you haven't caught up i had a compost pile throwing all of our you know scraps from meal prep in there eggshells you know squash pumpkin noodle rice all that um and then all of a sudden we came over and we noticed uh, squash and watermelon growing like just insanely fast over here. So some of you know the story, um, but I'm going to show you how it is today because the patch is growing so rapidly. Anyway, here we are. So this is a uh, squash here, and this is pumpkin here. Oh, not pumpkin. Sorry, watermelon. Actually, the squash, as we call it, everybody around here calls it pumpkin. Come check out this giant praying mantis. It's beautiful. It just crawled under a leaf. I love praying mantis. It's my favorite. I haven't seen one here yet. Hey, buddy. Hey. I'm happy he's here. Or she. Oh, yes. Indeed. Okay, the dogs are washed. Awesome. And now we've got some landscaping work to do. You can see we've cleared this space from weeds. This looked like this before, and now it looks like this. And now we're going to cover everything with cardboard. Then we will get the cardboard wet. Then the sand pile over here, we will take that and cover the cardboard with the sand. So this is to prevent weeds from popping up. We don't want uh, really any plants growing where we're putting the cardboard. And if we do decide we want plants there, we'll remove the cardboard and the sand from that location, put in a plant, and we're good to go. So we haven't noticed any fish in the pond in a few days. We put food in there, you know, we, we spit in there, the whole like run after our spit and nothing. So I don't know if they all died, but then you'd imagine they'd all float to the top. So I don't know what's going on. But right now I'm just grabbing some water out of here for the cardboard so we can get it all nice and damp. Okay, so I've got my water and the cardboard. So at first, I'll use this cup. And you just wanna get it everything wet. This helps to make sure that nothing flies away because maybe your layering isn't uh, as heavy the first time or maybe some of it slides off or whatever you're just making sure that it sticks here to the cardboard and the cardboard sticks to the earth they love daddy's gloves <laughs>
So that could be a thing, right? We're talking about where the fish could have gone. Maybe it's hibernation. I have to Google a little more on tilapia. We have black chin tilapia in the pond there. So. This ends up drying so quickly. Um, we did this yesterday on just part of it and uh, it was dry in maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. We'd gone inside, grabbed a snack, came out, and it was dry. <laughs> so I go, oh, okay, this is a quick process, right? <laughs> but yeah, it's looking good. So everything's all wet. And then Toby's gathering up the sand right now. I'll bring my bucket over there too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> By the time we finish, all of this side so i guess from this direction the right quadrant is going to be uh mulch with cardboard and then covered with sand so that we can suppress these weeds and then as we decide start making de decisions on what we want you know but it's like these weeds come so fast and they just they're a hazard, you know, for snakes, mosquitoes, rodents, everything likes the grass, you know, the fleas, the ticks, they love the grass, and we don't. So if you see Toby's what, like, getting the borders first, and then he'll fill in the middle. That way we can probably get rid of these rocks. It's a beautiful day today. Just, ah, uh, it's lovely. It is hot though. I wanna show you guys something. You know, we're growing mulberries, and so that's a long berry. They're like two to three inches long. But they're already coming. And it's starting to turn pink. Look at all those. Just woke up from a nap. They love sleeping. 